Shane Gallon here with the Chatham Journal. I'm with Vicki Newell, and I'm at 79 degrees west, and there's like there's a whole bunch of people here. Why are they here, Vicki? Uh, we, today, we are holding the first annual volunteer fair in Chatham County, an in-person opportunity for uh, potential volunteers to come and, in one-stop shop, find the perfect fit for them with an agency that needs volunteers. When you say one-stop shop, how many agencies do you have here? Today? We have 22 agencies here. From uh, Care was here. We have Cora. We have Aging Services, Chatham Literacy, the Partnership for Children, and it, the list goes on. And we came together as a group of agencies, which there were five of us. We came together and we planned this together for the betterment of the community. So, so any volunteer who felt like hey, they wanted, they had time to volunteer, could show up here and have their pick of an agency. That's right. And they just went from table to table. Sixty-one people came. Holy and cow! Yeah, it was really great. And it's like this place is still hopping, and it is almost six. It's quarter to six. And that's when we end. I mean, we had, it was packed at one point. It was so great. We gave away free cards, gift cards in the community. We asked each vendor, each agency to pay $25. And as a way to give back to the community, because I know as a nonprofit, I'm always asking and begging for money and gifts from the businesses. So this time we took that money and we went out and we actually bought the gift cards that we gave away today through trivia questions. You had trivia questions. Yeah, about give me give me an example of a trivia question okay. you had. Okay, uh, which agency provides or helps prepare citizen or helps prepare adults to t to become a citizen? Hmm. All right. Which agency helps adults become citizens? Yeah. Chatham I, Literacy. Oh, Woo! There you, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Isn't that kind of an unfair <laughs> plug there? Yes, it is. Uh, that's okay. No, that's, that's okay. Because and so, how many trivia questions did you have? Uh, we only had six, but six. it was good. And were they all about the same agency? No. No. One. 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 Was about, yeah. yeah. It was the first and last question. <laughs> uh, what? How did this come about? This 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 big event that you're having here. Whose idea okay. was it? So about. 14 years ago, when I first became an executive director of Chatham Literacy, I always wanted to have an in-person volunteer fair. Kind of like when uh, you were young and you were going to go to college, and you looked in the newspaper and you found all, they were going to have a, volunteer, a college fair. And each college was listed, and you know, you looked and you, you, just, you picked out who you wanted to go to. So I always wanted to do this, but we never had the traction to be able to do it. And so this year, for some reason, the stars aligned and executive directors said, hey, that's a really good idea. Let's do it. All right. So, so it took you 14 years to get to this point. So is the next one coming up <laughs> it's next be year? Years. Is it going to be another 14 years No, from it's going to be next year. Next, are you sure? I'm positive. I'm We've positive. had such great responses on both ends. We are definitely doing it. All right. What's the big advantage? Because everything seems to be online these time years, including college fairs. But what's the advantage of people coming in here and meeting in person? So the advantage is having so many people in one place, so many volunteer opportunities in one place. So you can go online, you can try to find things. There are agencies here, maybe you didn't even think about the opportunity before, but coming here with 22 agencies, you can start hopping around, or we also had a program, read about their mission, and figure out who do you really want to talk to. We had agencies that referred folks to other agencies. So somebody came up to us and said, you know, I really want to work more with children. And we were like, well, there's Chatham County Partnership for Children is here. And so it ended up, it was just popcorn and everybody was referring to one another. And it's an opportunity to find your perfect match in one space where you get, you know, a pick of, of the litter. So you were trying to make a nice match between what the volunteer was seeking and and. You weren't really trying. If a volunteer you kind of said, "No, oh, this guy looks like he may be a pain. Let's, let's send him over to no, so-and-so. No, we weren't doing that. You no, know, you weren't doing that. Uh, tell us <laughs> a little bit. Maybe Eugene would Yeah, maybe I would. Uh, actually, I probably would. Um, <laughs> tell us a little bit more about your group. Yeah, so Chatham Literacy provides adults 18 and over with literacy and educational opportunities so they can succeed. In, uh, and improve or better their lives. So we have English for speakers of other languages. We have Spanish literacy for native Spanish speakers who were not literate in Spanish, so we're helping them to become literate so when they receive the information that the school sent home in Spanish, 
they might have actually be able to read it and do something with it. Um, it's also a bridge to taking other things, becoming a citizen, ESOL, so that's the advantage there. We have financial literacy, so talking about money management, uh, also for business financial literacy. Uh, we have adult basic education or adult goal-based education, and that's where somebody comes in with a literacy goal, and we help them to fulfill that. And that's usually one of the groups that's really hard because it's our native English-speaking population. And so with that population, there's a lot of pride that pride. goes into not having people know that maybe they have difficulty with literacy. So they're also the group that if they do take our services, they don't want to be a testimonial because that's not them anymore. So, you know, that's a hard group to get to. And uh, But that's a huge uh, focus of ours over the next year. All right, best success story. Best success story. Uh, we have, okay, so we have two sisters who came from Venezuela, and they came here three years ago, and they could really could speak almost no English. And they're young, they were probably 20. They got here, and they started, they did get a job, but they couldn't speak. I think they were uh, working at some, uh, like, fast food. And so they said, we need English skills. So they came to us, they got it with a little bit of English skills, they got a job working at a cell, cell phone company. Then, as they continued to develop their skills, they became area managers. Then they said, you know what, we really want to be bankers. So they trained with us on how to interview and do different things, and they improved further on their English, and they're both now working at two different banks in Sanford. Oh, that That's is amazing. a good success Isn't that great? story. It is a great story. Look, look, did you guys, years. did you see Vicky light up when she's like, yeah, she's happy. Yes, that is a good story. <laughs> All right. This event is uh, finishing up in 10 minutes. If somebody wants to reach out or do you have a list of the volunteer groups here? We do. We have a list. So if anybody wants to find out who is here, they can definitely reach out to Chatham Literacy and they can do that with our email at admin, A-D-M-I-N, at chathamliteracy.org. They can call us, 919-742-0578. That number again? 919-742-0578. All right, folks. So if you weren't able to be here today, it's your loss, but it's not a complete loss because That's you can right. give them a call send them an email, and Vicki will find someone for you to volunteer with. We can help you. There you help go. Help us. Thank you. All right.